now we uh, that you're liking the post, you want to do something more fun, you know. So we could just have one little like button, like Instagram, if you want, you could do that. And there's actually, we got a pub dev. I need to charge my um, computer soon. But like button. There's all types of libraries here. But this is, that's sort of like Instagram, I guess. But and it even gives you the little number, so the count of likes but really we're not you could use this if you want to it's pretty simple to use or maybe I'll do a tutorial later for that but we want to do the Facebook type reaction so this is the other one it's gonna be like this but we're gonna use the original well, I'll say it's original because it was 2018 when this came out if you look at the code so um, so for this, first we need to um, install this. Would you just copy this? Jaws uh, testing testing it out before I did it before. I'm glad I kind of kept it big. But anyways, so which I already, I was already testing it out, so I have it. But you just put it under Firebase off. So I'll just uncomment that. And then um, we also, there'll be a set, which I had, I was testing it out. So I have a set here. Alrighty, so you won't have this right here. Let's just say it's gone. Say it doesn't even exist. Um, and this would be uncommented too, so. All right, that would be common, so you uncomment it. So you can put command L or command forward slash to uncomment or comment stuff. Uh, whenever the line is on, you can even highlight and then do multiple lines like that. But you no, know, I think believe it's Control forward slash on Windows. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyways, after this, make sure it set is lined up with uh this um that <laughs> make sure the A is lined up with this uh number or hash whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't work. It acts like um <laughs> Python. So anyway. All right, Dang, how did I do that? Okay. Okay, so it's this, which. So then you want to put a set. So you want to line it up like the like. I believe it's two. Yeah, okay. So it's just two spaces, one, two. So make sure the dash is there. Two spaces, dash, and then a set, write a set, slash, images slash and so we want to go to right click on social media app up here and then we'll do new directory and we'll do a set this is for the gifts and the images that we're using for the like button can't believe we haven't used images yet in this app but thanks for everything so <laughs> show so much stuff i'll really rather make it uh maybe i'll just make but I'll have a medium, I'll post it, but maybe, yeah, I'd like videos or I'd say, show you how to do a set to one, one video, whatever. either way, I have a medium, I'll show you that, I'll put it in the description, basically like a little blog if you don't know what medium is, um, so yeah, I'll put uh, simple stuff like that in my medium probably. Instead of making videos, but anyways, um, now we want to go to click example right here. Or actually, um, right click on repository, and then open link a new tab. So you want to open a new tab, or you can just click on it really, which will take you here. Well, it won't take you to this. It'll take you here. So then you want to download, um, you want to click on images.zip and you want to download them. Which I've already done, so. And then you want to um, unzip them and then click inside images, click inside of that. And then I'm just going to drag these images. See how low? I'm on 7%. I'm about, after we copy this, 
uh, I'll just cut it out the video, but I'm going to um, get my charger. So anyways, I'll just drag this inside of images. Make sure it's, it's kind of red outlined around images you see. Just drop it. And then OK. It's just showing all this because I have it in Git. So, so I'm adding all of those to Git automatically. It's built into Android Studio. So now we'll click Pub Git right here. So that basically downloads the library, this reactive library, and it also uh, pulls in the images. So yeah, okay. Let me get my charger real quick. Let me put my phone on vibrate. It keeps going off. Okay, so. All right, next we'll, um, we'll jump back to newsfeed. And I'll close this just so we have more room. All right, so. See, all this code will be in its own file. I'll show you at the end. But when you go back, I mean, it's in this code. It's an example. If you want to just stay here and go to example, it's in main.dart. So really, we need, see, these are the flags they had in the example, and these are the Facebook icons. So you, you should use your own GIFs. I want to make it the same as Facebook. This is just the same. <laughs> this is just to show you. This, this, for example, for this app. So I'll just paste that right here. And of course, um, it's going to give error so new option enter import library flutter reactive button press enter and now it's imported okay and we need to copy this we can rename it but i'll just leave it the same put that right there and so what they do is um actually i'll probably i'll just put this Let me minimize this. Because I want to put this code and I'm pressed inside of a function. So it's not just all in our uh, <laughs> way. Um, should we make it a future? We'll go ahead and do it, make a future. So, um, like post we'll have to pass some stuff in but sync we don't use this we don't need a sync really but yeah so um okay mm, that looks fun Oh, uh, this was one to return, but can we do it? I don't remember. We really don't even need a future, so we'll just do like post. So, so we'll take out the parentheses and the curly brackets, and we'll do like post. Which really, you usually they usually do a underscore. I don't know why I forgot, but. You don't put the parentheses if you're using it on pressed. So it still works the same now. I'll just show you. Let's see. And maybe, you see there how it's kind of a time? It's not, I mean, it's pretty fast, but it's not instant. But if there was a hang on the um, server, 
<laughs> Basically, if you yeah was you were having network issues, um, say your Wi-Fi wasn't connecting or something. I don't know. Then this would um. I'm not calling set state until I actually delete it or until I'm actually saving it. So really, we should probably call set state before we do this, just to make it seem like it's happening instantly, you know. And then we could still call this, and I believe Firestore will still do it. We'll call it when the network, um, by default on mobile, it'll still delete it whenever it does connect. So. Yeah, I don't know if it deletes it in the den still, but I don't know because it gives us void values. Anyways, um, so now we want to okay go back here and they have reactive button right here. So which before container, see this before container you get all of this. So line of 140 to 171. So um basically <laughs> that's why I wanted to move like post away because we'll need it again. But anyways, and it will kind of be different. So I'll just comment this trailing out right here. We'll just put it under it. I don't know if you want to use the image or you can use that later. Eventually, I'll probably take it out though, but whatever. We'll save it because I don't. Okay. I, I didn't see where the <laughs> ending was. I don't like the border around it, so I might take it off. Yeah, we need what I forgot to mention is they were everything if you had a image that um you're referencing from the images folder, but we're referencing from the assets images. So we need to change that up here as well. Which you could just do that. You just copy. And then put your cursor in front of each one. So I'm using VM, that's why it looks like it's actually on I. I mean, technically it is. But the last 17 minutes of my video, um, basically the video stopped recording, but the audio is still there. So um, I don't know if I should still give you the audio. It will kind of be pointless. But basically, I'll just show you what I was doing. So, um... We're just um, adding the unlike post function to on tap of the re reactive button. And so we have unlike post right here. So all it is is um, it's basically pretty much the same code as like post, the first three lines, except delete is the next one instead of set data. And then um, we still do it then the value set state and uh, we turn like to false so really you can pretty much copy this except change this part to delete or actually just change this part to delete like this then you have a like post I also leave the um, <laughs> what am I thinking the code in the uh, link in the description the link of the code in the description so and so I'll also change this to from like post to unlike or uh, from like post right here and select it after you select the icon to check post so so what that does is just made another function because remember in like post we had it checking if it did like it um then to unlike it but if it didn't to like it so I just made two separate functions like post and unlike post so I separated them and then also made a check post function so this um so all this does is 
It's the same thing. <laughs> Post reactions. Uh, dot document. Dot get. It's, it's all the same except uh, when I'm checking. <laughs> uh, it's the same code as this, really. Oh wait, no. So, dude, I'll show you this. See, I'm confusing myself now. But anyways, all we're doing is getting uh, the document of post reactions from the user. We're just seeing if we this user liked the post. So if they did, we'll just update it. If not, we'll like it. So the reaction type is... Um, we'll just change the reaction type in the update. So all it is, it's the same code as like posts instead of set data it's update data that's the only change on uh, update like posts and then there's also we also made this function and we call it in init state check if user like post that way if we come back from the um, uh, say we close the app and then we come back to the app it'll still show that we liked it. It'll just read the data like that. So it's the same query as this. So you can just copy this, except uh, you just, you would just remove this. You would take out the else, and then you would remove this and replace it with set state, liked set liked equal to true. And then we'll get this document snapshot right here. And then we'll get the reaction type also. And set it to Facebook because that's what we show right here or right here <laughs> so if it's liked so we said it's true so that means it'll be true so then it'll show from the images here and also another thing after you add the images you need to um stop the um app and then run it again press the red stop button and then run it again when you're doing stuff like adding images and stuff it doesn't really work that well with hot reload sometimes it does but usually it doesn't so if you're adding any type of assets like images text files anything like that videos um, just stop the app and run it again so then the apps will show up and then so this is what it will look like after you have it done but this is actually actually came up with a up with a more efficient way to do this so this is in the next, the more efficient way to like the post so that we're not querying so much. Um, I have it in the next video, which is already recorded and uh, it will be uploaded before this one. So yeah, that's it for this. So yeah, that was it. That was all in the video. I did it in five minutes, the last 17 minutes and five minutes. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you like the video, Please like and subscribe, and um, oh, just in case <laughs> you're wondering, because I you probably see this. This is from the new video. I already recorded it from the um. So don't worry about this. This is gonna be a next video. It's the more efficient way to like the post and getting the likes and everything like that. So, but yeah. Anyways, um, if you. Like the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.